New tonight, Maryland's historic Scotland community is capping off an exciting week of Juneteenth celebrations. Yeah, it's the final night of the Juneteenth Heritage Festival, and that includes the annual baseball classic honoring those who paved the way for black players. Our Alexis Wainwright stopped by tonight's game at Cabin John Regional Park. Like a baseball card. Cards tell the rich history that lives on behind the front gates of Shirley Povich Field in Rockville. What is special about what's going on the, with the entire Juneteenth thing, it brings awareness to where we are. Wednesday, the community is shining light on those who brought the excitement for baseball in this community. This is uh, Clarence Israel, and Clarence Israel is one of the Negro League players that's from this area that played in this area. And a part of the focus during this Juneteenth Classic game is educating others. As we celebrate Juneteenth today, it's very uh, important that we have something to say about the history. And no matter where you walk around the field, you will see a piece of history of the Negro League and the connections from right here in Montgomery County. We are exposing something to the general public and not only the general public, but also African American people that may not know the history of the Negro League. It's important. Baseball was everything during the time of Jim Crow and segregation. They came from baseball teams like the, the Eagles and other teams around Montgomery County. There used to be quite a few teams around Montgomery County, and that was one of the major entertain, entertainment for the county. And it still remains a priority now. Even Commander's linebacker and Montgomery County native Keandre Jones here to inform others. You know, we're passing down uh, our knowledge of community engagement, uh, activism, um, and also uh, education. And uh, that's the most important thing for the kids to learn and give back um, so they can do it for other generations. This is the third annual game in honor of the legends who paved the way for this generation. And the fireworks happening here now are in celebration of that, but also the unity and heritage for this community. Alexis Wainwright, WUSA 9.